Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we will be continuing The Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2. In the previous episode, we managed to make it to the ski lodge after borrowing a knife and some peaches from the bridge uh, building, the building by the bridge, and we got up to the ski lodge and we found an old friend. Kenny's here. He has a massive gray beard. He seems way too zen now. I'm not sure what's going on. He's probably suppressing things. But I, I, you know, I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. I hope he's doing better. And stuff like that. And now I have to decide who to sit with. Whom to sit with. Um, the walkthrough warns me that... While it may seem like unnecessary high school drama, choosing who to sit with between the two groups might have serious repercussions down the road. Um, my inclination is to sit with the new group, to sit with Luke, because um, I don't want them to think I'm like abandoning them for my old person. It's just one dude. I've gotten to know these guys. I have no idea about Sarita, no idea about this dude. I think, I think Matthew might be the dude we shot. That's my theory right now. I'm sorry, Kenny. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? Well, it's been a while, but he seems a little different. Yeah, well, that happens. I mean, I could have seen all kinds he of shit. He saw a lot of shit no with me. Jump into conclusions. Yep. That's fair. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty Sarah, hard. Sarah, you have no idea what happened. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. Damn. He lost it a little after that. Lost it half? Well, he drinks. Oh. He drank. Well. Past tense. You don't know if it's still true. Hey, Kenny. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Krista was Wellington? going there. The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal? Oh my god, guys, guys calm you, down. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. I am Switzerland. No for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Yeah, we haven't seen Clementine eating. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Yeah, I try to give him a little bit of sympathy. Hey, Clementine, would you uh lend me a hand outside for a moment? Try and get Luke and Kenny to to like each other just a little bit more. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. I hope so. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you God, I don't yours. know what to say. What do you say? 
Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the Too common late. good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. I agree. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? I don't know. Well, we have plenty of time. I have, personally. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like it. Partner? In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. I wanted us. to mention Matthew as well. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you Can I please talking? talk about Matthew? I think... I think we came across him. Oh, politics. The hell? <laughs> well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. Hey, man. I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Oh. Be nice. Miss? Oh, hello. You were from 400 Days. I didn't Wait, like your story. Do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. You have a family. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come um, in, Miss? Bonnie. Um. Walt, I don't know. You're just going to let her in like that? It's fine, Ken. My... We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something. This is a situational you. irony. You have to do that. No, no. The audience fine. knows something. What about your people? These characters We've don't. Got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. That's that's not a bad idea. Kenny and Clem will keep an eye on her. I mean, yes, you could say that they're your I family, have a but little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? Oh, she is 11. I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. That's a lot of stuff, dude. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Oh. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. Um, you too. Giving her too much might be an indication that we have a surplus. So they might be back and attack Clem, us. Go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I got a talk. Mm, I don't like this. I'm suspicious of Bonnie. And those doors not being Clementine. Don't freak out. Covered. Sorry for talking over the dialogue, guys. Listen. I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Yep, I called it. God damn it. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. Who knows what the hell he'd do if he found no, out? No, you guys need to leave. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. Yes. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Hey, Nick. Oh, uh, 
There's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You're coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. It's, it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. Damn it. It's gone. Walter? like this knife WM gave it to Matthew when all this started Walter Matthew I know he's dead who did it was it that that kid what's his name uh, Nick heard him talking earlier something about shooting him <sighs> I could see it I could see it on his face I wasn't sure then but now? It was us. It was our fault. We're sorry. Jesus. I, uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Nick a good man or is he just like everyone else is he just one of those uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves he is he's a good guy Walter he was always going out alone I told him something like this would happen but he wouldn't listen no Matt always knew best what's going on get out of here Nick on the bridge. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, I, thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. It, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. He could still be alive. What you've done to me. Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Would you really shank him in front of an 11 year old? Um, that's still a good knife. Ooh, that turbine does not look good. Give Nick a gun. Not after Walter learned what happened. That thing's a damn dinner bell. Thank you for the pistol. What the hell was that? Damn it! Transformer must have gone. We gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. Shouldn't this be, like, graded for- for storms? Or did they just not realize you have to actually shut it off before- know how to do this? Before a storm hits. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. 
if an 11 year old can figure it out. Hey, there's a key. Yeah, there we go. Pick up key. Um. Wow, guys. Wow. Wow, that was so difficult to figure out what the hell. Something ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. We, we got to get back to the lodge. They're behind us. The barrel should have also popped when she ran out of ammo. Ammo. Come on, come on. Ooh, rifle kickback, man. Tell you what. She needs to start using a knife. It's quieter that way. Yep. Good job. I mean, she needs to learn to use a rifle too, probably, but... Okay. That's good. Clem, get inside. Go. I mean, the gunfire is going to draw more walkers too, so I don't know if that was really a smart idea, guys. They really need to move on to bats and knives okay. and Uh-oh. What the machine gunfire. Bonnie and that dude from before. Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you. Yeah, too. Carver. Sarah. Sarah. It's you. Keep moving. <sighs> I had a feeling. That didn't make noise. <laughs> Look at this place. 
believe this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. This fuck is huge. Built this cable. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. You can see her up there on the balcony, cool. I would have told her I love her instead. Back up! Back up! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Uh oh. I know you're out there. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. No, where's Luke and Kenny? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If we start shooting, and people are gonna die on both sides. We couldn't get some help. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Uh -oh. Never knows she's with us. Lights flickered here. Let's just finish up this. Kill video him. before that happens though. Fuck you. Shoot him. Somebody just shoot him. Ouch. Go get him. He'll kill him, Beck. We can't do it anyway. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Bill, stop! Bill Carver, uh, that's his name. Uh, what a dumbass uh, name. Stop touching me. Sam wasn't even touching her, but you know. You don't want to do this. Please let these people go. Just shut up. You shut up. Clem, could you reach my hands? What do you want me to do? Everything under control. Clem. I'll try. I mean, all she has to do is scooch closer and then be. Kenny. Don't say a name. Don't move. I can't see him. Watch them. Her mouth didn't man. even move. Yeah, I didn't want to do this. But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. It's your choice. Hi, Elvin. You motherfucker. Elvin! remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. 
I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! I love you, Beck. Kenny! Boo! Don't shoot! Ah. Uh. can do this all night. Is that what you want? <sighs> There's Kenny. Where's Luke? Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I doubt it. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. Fuck off, Carver. All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Well, damn, that was intense. And we're at the end of the episode. I knew I didn't like Bonnie. I don't Bonnie. know if we could save Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. That's not the point, Kenny. I know. Folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. I don't want to be in your fold. Knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love surely wish that they had. A storm is on the way. How's home supply hardware? Oh great, so it's like Negan taking over Carl. This is Ward with Carver and Clem. Yeah, not excited about that shit. Took blame for Sarah's photo. You and 51.1% of players blame someone else. Um, Who did you sit with at dinner? 37.1% of players sat with Luke. Yeah, a lot of people like Kenny. I, eh, I don't know if I like Kenny. Told Walter the truth about Matthew. 55.6% of players told Walter the truth. Forgiveness. Nick's fate. You and 57.3% of players convince Walter to forgive Nick. Bravery. Left to find Kenny. You and 54.3% of players stayed to help Carlos. Oh, it's interesting. It's friendship, loyalty, honesty, forgiveness, and bravery. I wonder if Season 1 had similar um, categories. Interesting. All right, well, that was a good episode. Unfortunately, um, compared to most videos where I play a bit of one episode and move on to the uh, next episode, I can't do that with this one. Also, is this a different song than the first episode we played? Well, at any rate, I think I have to skip through it and do super speed and such like that. Uh... But I'll do that as, as part of the um, credits for this video instead. But um, I hope you're enjoying this series as always. Make sure to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. See you next time.